Hello everyone, welcome to this new video from Guidance Education Channel. In this video, we are continuing class 11 chemistry, chapter 4, chemical bonding and molecular structure. Under that chapter, we are doing formal charge. In this video, we will see how to calculate formal charge on the atoms of a polyatomic ion. We have taken sulphate ion as example. Sulphate ion is SO4 2 minus. That means there are two negative charges on that group of atoms. Before we go into the details, I am Anandavalli. I welcome you all to this new video from Guidance Education Channel. Now let us see the details. First we have to draw the electron dot diagram. Sulphate ion contains one sulphur atom and four oxygen atoms and it has an extra charge of two negative. So, sulphur atom equal to one. The valence electron in sulphur is equal to six. For oxygen, there are four oxygen atoms. For each oxygen atom, there are 6 valence electrons. So, 24 electrons. The ion bears 2 negative charges. So, we have to add up 2 electrons to this. So, the total comes to 32. So, when we finish drawing the electron dot diagram of sulphate ion, we have to show 32 electrons. The central atom will be the sulphur atom because sulphur is less electronegative than oxygen. So, we first show sulphur. Let us first represent 4 single bonds for 4 oxygen atoms. 4 electrons in the valence shell of sulphur atom is used up. 2 electrons remain show the 4 oxygen atoms bonded to sulphur atom. For each oxygen atom, 1 electron gets used up for forming this single bond. For convenience of explanation, we will number these oxygen atoms as 1, 2, 3 and 4. For oxygen atom number 1, there are only 7 electrons including the electrons of the bond. There should be octet. It needs one more electron. So, one of its electron shares another electron with the sulphur atom forming a double bond. For sulphur atom, only 4 electrons have already been used. It has a balance of 2 electrons. So, one such electron is used for forming this double bond with oxygen atom number 1. Now, the octet is completed for oxygen atom number 1. 4 electrons are shown in the double bond and the remaining 4 electrons remain as 2 lone pairs. When we come to oxygen atom number 2, it also has only 7 electrons in its valence shell including the bond that is formed with sulphur atom. It also requires one more electron. So, one of its electrons shares with another electron of the sulphur atom and forms a double bond. So, we find oxygen atom number 2 as per this diagram also forms a double bond with sulphur atom. You can show the double bond with any other oxygen atom as well. We will learn all these details when we come to resonance. Coming back to sulphate ion, we find that all the 6 electrons of sulphur atom is used up. No more electrons are available from sulphur atom. For oxygen atom number 2, 4 electrons are there in 2 bonds and the remaining 4 electrons remain as 2 lone pairs. Now, oxygen atom 2 has 8 electrons. Octet is completed. Now, when we come to oxygen atom number 3, it has remaining 5 electrons in its shell and 2 electrons in the bond. So, it also has only 7 electrons. We can show 2 lone pairs and 1 single electron, but one single electron cannot remain as such. So, it uses one more electron from the extra electron in the two charges shown there. The whole ion has 
two negative charges that is two excess electrons one of that electron is used here to complete this three lone pairs. You can also consider that that electron is used for forming the bond and the six electrons of the oxygen atom remains as lone pairs. Anyway, now the oxygen atom number 3 has completed the octet. The fourth oxygen atom also has seven electrons including the electron of the sulfur atom which is used for forming the single bond. It also uses the additional one electron from the extra two charges. One electron has already been used by atom number 3. Now, the remaining one electron is used by atom number 4. So, atom number 4 also has 8 electrons now. So, there are 3 lone pairs and 1 bond making it octet. Now, let us verify whether 32 electrons are shown. 8 electrons for oxygen atom number 1 including the 2 electrons of sulphur plus again 8 electrons of atom number 2 including the 2 electrons of sulphur for forming the double bond plus 8 electrons of atom number 3 including the 1 extra electron from 2 negative charges on the ion plus 8 electrons for oxygen atom 4 including one extra electron from the two negative charges on the sulphate ion. That means the total is 8 into 4 which makes it 32. So, that is shown right. Now, the formal charge on the different atoms. Formal charge on an atom is equal to total valence electron minus non-bonding valence electron minus half bonding electrons. So, for oxygen atom number 1, look at the diagram and understand valence electrons 6 minus non-bonding electrons there are 4 and bonding electrons there are again 4, half of that is 2. So, 6 minus 4 minus 2 that makes it 0. So, the formal charge on atom number 1 is equal to 0. We will mark it here within brackets. Now, for oxygen atom number 2, valence electron 6 minus non-bonding valence electrons 4 minus half of bonding electrons equal to 2. So, here also 6 minus 4 minus 2 becomes 0. For the second oxygen atom also the formal charge as per this diagram is 0. Now, oxygen atom number 3 valence electron 6 minus non-bonding 6 minus bonding 2 half of that 1. So, there is a charge of negative 1. So, formal charge on oxygen atom number 3 is 1 minus Coming to oxygen atom number 4, valence electron 6 minus just as in the case of atom number 3, non-bonding valence electrons is 6. So, 6 minus 6 minus bonded electrons 2, half of that, half of that is 1. So, 6 minus 6 minus 1 that becomes negative 1. So, oxygen atom number 4 has a formal charge of 1 negative. Now, for sulphur atom, valence electrons is 6, non-bonding electrons is 0, bonded electrons is 12, 4 plus 4 plus 2 plus 2 that is 12, half of that is 6. So, 6 minus 0 minus 6 is equal to 0. So, the formal charge on sulphur atom is 0. All the electrons of sulphur are used up. So, non-bonding electrons is 0. So, the whole ion gets a charge of 2 negative. Is it satisfied? Yes. For oxygen atom number 3 and 4, there are 1 negative charge each. So, the total comes to 2 negative. So, that means net charge is equal to 2 negative. 
I hope it is clear. It is very simple. If you think the video is useful, do like the video, share the video with your friends, leave your feedbacks as comments in the comment box below. If you have not yet subscribed my channel, do subscribe my channel and support me. Press the bell button and all button for notification of more videos like this. Thank you very much. We will meet in the next video with another important topic like this. Till then, bye. Take care.